What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man today we got an informative video for y'all man because y'all can see by the thumbnail i'm finna put y'all on game on backspacing and all of that and why it's important man and you know something to take into consideration when you buy and use wheels cars i'm gonna head over to lawless today and try to wheel on i'm not putting it on camera i ain't putting it on camera so if i did you would have had it on thumbnail because i'm gonna wait till i put out four on but i'm gonna try it uh cause when i when i bought the wheels i thought it was a five inch lip it's a four inch lip which means it's six the other way but i get into all that technical stuff when i get back and uh i put y'all on game so y'all stay tuned all right y'all so we back from lawless man tried the wheel on boy when these go on dolo boy i tell you it's gonna be some pressure that's why i love wheels like this spoke style rims man swirl when these, when y'all see these rims, all four, I can't wait to see all four on Big Dolo myself. This thing gonna be nasty. And Dolo need a paint job, but it's still gonna be nasty. It's gonna be a nasty four-way car. But we ain't worried about paint, man. Like I told y'all before, that's the easy part. Paint is the easy part. I don't be worrying about all that cosmetic stuff when we get this stuff. It's the expensive part. Paint ain't even the expensive part to me. Like, I mean, paint job get high, but when you, you it don't compare to when you're doing performance stuff. And you really try to get it right. So I'm gonna set y'all up right here. Alright, so look. Now, I'm gonna show y'all backspace. First, first and foremost, I'm gonna tell y'all uh let me let me grab y'all, man. I don't wanna have y'all just looking like that. So first and foremost, I'm gonna tell y'all what we ran into. Bring y'all up. Tell y'all what I ran into. We put the, the wheel fit, which I knew that. I knew they were gonna fit cause 10 inch wheel they got they got six inch backspacing. Uh so like I said it's a four inch. I'm gonna tell you too, backspace. If it's 10 inch wheel, four inch lip, that means it's six the other way. Just general rule of thumb if you want to do simple. You gotta make up your 10. So it's a four inch lip instead of a five, it's a four inch, so that means it's six on the back side. So you know, that's your backspacing pretty much. Uh, certain cars require certain backspace and that's the way the frame is and all of that. My bad, y'all. It's hard holding the camera. I just worked out, man. I just got finished working out. So, you know, I got that good workout in. So, I'm kind of tired. But, um, yeah. So, what we ran into, since it's spaced out, see the other wheels, the Dolo old wheels, I can't remember what the backspacing was, but it wasn't, it wasn't six. It might have been maybe four and a half or something like that cost a five inch five and a half uh that's what the backspacing is on the racing wheel might have been a five and a half but basically as the backspacing gets smaller in the back uh it puts it closer to the frame so the wheel the old wheels on dolo i had probably like a half an inch or an inch of clearance between the frame and the back of the wheel so right here so so with uh with the old wheels when they sitting on the car like this, I probably had about that much clearance. That much clearance before the frame. Which is why I was able to ride them. So it put them back more this way and took it away from right here, which is where, you know, the fender wheel come in. So I had clearance right here. And then it was just my car so low, if I hit a big hump, it'll hit the top of the car. But it went hitting right here on the side. It was clear. Because the more of the back spacing was this way. This wheel... I got about I got about that much space between the frame, like hella clearance. You don't need no frame notch or nothing. But that's the correct back spacing for a box seven or a B body car, I should say. But what happens 
when you take away from right here, it pushes it farther over this way. So y'all can put two and two together because my car is so low, now it's rubbing right up in here. Versus the old wheel, it wasn't rubbing, which is why y'all saw me riding around uh, the old few times with the old wheels. These ain't no riding around because it's hidden right here. So what I'm forced to do, I'm going to have to raise the car back up. So we're going to walk over there to Big Meats in a minute and see uh see if I got the springs. I think I kept them. I think I put them in the trunk of Big Meats. But for now, let me set y'all back down. Let me set y'all back down first, get y'all position right. Show you how to do this backspace. Cause it matters. I be telling folks, it matters. Man, y'all. I had y'all position right. Now I gotta reposition the camera. Get the get the gorilla part all straight. So it don't tilt over too. Look at that, that thing one. That thing heavy, boy. Come on now. Come on, Gorilla Park. Man, you gonna have to ride right there. Nah, let me get more secure. I ain't no way you have to ride right there. They come fall off. I'm gonna be mad. Call too much money. But look, so let me see. Y'all can see the top of the wheel. So let me see how y'all can see this. Yeah, okay. So you see, y'all see, let me see. Can y'all see that? Y'all really can't see it, but you know, you wanna measure, I'm showing you. Go to Go to where the wheel starts and then measure out to the edge. So I see right here, right here, it's right at four. It's right at four. I don't know, I know you can't see it good, but you know, it right at four right there. It's a four inch lip. So when you're going backspacing, turn the wheel around and backspacing right here where your wheel bolt to the car. And it's good that get hub centric rings sometimes you know if you ain't got them you get some hub centric rings they plastic rings they pop in here make sure your hub center i'll probably get some too those are the rings that came with the racing wheels for john jones they came with the studs and stuff if you saw that video so what you do you start right here not from the spoke not from the spoke well you can start from the spoke too but Anyway, you really, you start from right here. You start from the, uh, my bad, I'm rolling. You start from right here where it bolt to the, um, where it bolt to the car, and then you come out. And then if you can't, you really, if I had a, if I had a straight edge to come down here, it gonna hit on the six. So it's six inches, like I said, so you start, you just put the, put your, um, put your tape measure right here. And then you go like this, this is how you find the backspace. So if you got some wheels, somebody asks you about backspace, and that's how you get it. Put your tape measure. Let me turn it sideways. Put your tape measure like that. And then get you a straight edge and line it up right here like a ruler saw and come down and it'll line up. Like I said, this one hit right on the six. I can just look at it in the eyeball. So like I said, four inch lip. Four inch lip on the outside, so it's six inch backspacing on the inside or whatever, you know. So it's just an easy way to do it. You can come down to the spoke too. The spokes, as long as it's lined up right here, like I said, which really, it got to line up with that, you're going to get six all the time though. But if you come in, see, it's going to throw it off. It'll say, uh, it put it at about seven. That ain't right. Right here, they call this way it bolt to. And then we at six. So six in backspace. So, or you can just take it and measure it. But you got to know the width of your of your wheel too, cause sometimes they make nine and a half inch wheels. Like I think the front's nine and a half. I ain't, I can't I ain't sure, cause the front's staggered. But I know this is a ten. But most big wheels are ten inch though. Most of the time they're gonna be tens unless you custom order. Then they do twelves. And if you got twelves, you get into another ball game. Cause the wider the rim, the backspacing uh, specs gonna be different. Even for the same car, the backspacing specs gonna be different. But for a 10 inch wheel on a box Civic, this is a uh, 6 inch backspacing. You'll have a lot of frame clearance. So if you're not trying to uh, really super squat it, you can, you'll be perfect. It'll get it out the frame. You won't have to worry about this hitting up here. So like I said, if you got a box Civic or a bubble too, because they both be bodies or a bubble, uh, you can get a 6 inch backspacing wheel if you order them new and they're going to work perfect. They're going to sit perfect. 10 inch wheel, 
say a four inch lip but if you want to go 12 just to make your lip deeper right here just know it's going to push the wheel further in and you know you're going to get tight in the frame and then you might have to get into uh c notching and all that stuff to clear the frame which that's not a um that's not a hard job either but that's the problem we have man and this is a bigger tie too uh this uh this is a 30 series tie so it's a little thicker which i wanted that because uh we making some power we're making a lot more power now so i want more meat on the tie versus i had a 25 series at first which uh that helps with clearance too uh, a smaller tie slimmer profile tie but uh like i said it's still low profile but we got a little more meat and uh I need that so that's the issue we ran into with big dolo man so they're putting y'all on game on backspace say always just measure your lip then if it's 10 just you know if you got five up here just know it's five on the back side but if you want to just know the proper way to measure get your backspace and that's how you do it though come back here line your tape measure up and then get your backspacing like that so like i said let me see let me show y'all because y'all can see better right here. Put it on six. So you just take your tape measure like that. And then you line it up. And see that six fall right there on the edge of it. So six in backspace. So that's how you do it. Because a lot of people don't know what backspacing is. They don't know how to get it. They have to call somebody. When you really, you can do it yourself, man, if you got a tape measure. Do it yourself. So let go over here to um Big Meach. And we're going to see if I still got the springs. Because what I'm going to have to do is put the old springs in there. So let's go over there to Big Meach and see if we got them. Oh, yeah, y'all. Look, before we go over there while I'm at it, let me show y'all this tie gauge, man. Because I didn't show y'all last time that I bought for John John. Y'all saw it when I bought the fuel stuff, but I didn't take it out the box. But it came with the case, man. Like I said, this is more expensive one. This for my people that racing. But electronic. This is it right here. It's a good gauge right here. Electronic, man. You see good. See at night. Good display. And it's precise, man. Like, this super precise. You got dual air bleeds. So, if you got too much air, you just tap that right there. Or you can hold it. And it'll bleed the air out. And it'll get down to the pressure you need to put it at. You got two two optional ends. Like I said, I'm going to keep that one on there. Two air tucks, I meant. Two different tuck ends. So, yeah, that's that, man. They come in handy, too. Cause my guy Reggie at Summit was telling me like, you know, you be throwing them in the back seat and stuff and then they end up tearing up. So this is my first electronic one. Uh, I used to have that Moroso, the Moroso gauge. That's the one I had for the longest. So I want to show y'all that, man. So I'm telling you, that's a good one to get. This is a good one to get if you're racing. I say it's pretty precise, pretty accurate. So uh, yeah, we, we'll have some accurate tie readings now. We're going to the track with John John. Might try to take it next week. Not next week, this week. My bad, I might try to take it this week. But let's go over here to Meats, man. See them springs in there. All right, we got the back of Meats uncovered, man. Every time I take the cover out of this car, man, I'm ready to go ahead and put it together. I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie. Look at that, I still got the number on the back. And when we took it to the track and ran it right before we pulled the engine out and put it in wifey car. I'm keep it right there, too. So I'm telling y'all, everything I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. What's gonna happen with this car? I'm gonna buy every single thing I need. When all the parts come in, I'm getting it put together. When I pick this car up from where I pick it up from, it's going straight to the dyno. Or the, it's going straight to the track, depending on what day. It's gonna be ready though. It ain't gonna be none of that. I gotta get this, y'all. I gotta get this. It's gonna be ready. I'm gonna have the wheels. Everything gonna be fitted. When I get it, it's just gonna be on go. So, I'm telling you, that's what's happening. Damn, boy, I got to, let me set this up, boy. We got a whole, we got a whole trunk full of parts and meat, boy. Got put everything in meat. We'll have to take all this stuff out, but we had a shop, man. We better put all this stuff up. We better put all this stuff up. We got back here, man. We got dry shelves, two dry shelves, 700 R4 cross member, radiator. All this stuff, some good fan shroud. Uh, boom, there they go. Yeah, 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 we got them. That's them. Need them, boy. They buried too. I got two crawl members. That's a 400 crawl member. I got three crawl members. 
box every tail light, some more light there. Man, I got everything, man. Parts for days. These the spring right here, though, I think. Let me see. Hey, I'm gonna have to set y'all down. Hold on, man. I'm gonna All right, y'all, so we got the springs, man. Big difference in the one that's in there now. But they're gonna raise it up. They're gonna give it the lift it needs to clear them all uh, wheels so it ain't scrubbing. Cause like I said, I will have to tub the the reason I'm not gonna tub it, cause like I said, what what Jesse said, we would have to instead of me thinking mini tubs, we'll have to do full tubs and that's cutting into your back seat, which means I wouldn't even have a back seat. I wouldn't be able to make it fit up there. So that's out. We ain't, I'm not I'm, I'm not doing that, so it's gonna be a little higher. It's still gonna tuck, but it's gonna be a little higher, whatever, than what it is. And uh, we're gonna have to change these springs out, so I'm gonna take them down there and let him put them in. Cause I'm not, I'm not cutting out, cutting into my back seat. So, yeah, man, that's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I catch y'all tomorrow. I'm out.